Hey, what is up guys? President Clash here. Welcome to another Clash Royale video. And before we get into this video, I actually do have an announcement for you guys. And the first announcement, I actually have two announcements. And the first announcement is that I am going to be bringing back my series of how to, or just like maxing Town Hall level 8 for the game Clash of Clans. So I stopped this series a while back when I stopped playing Clash. Uh, Clash of Clans, but now I'm back at it, and we're gonna be continuing the series as well. I will be bringing guys base builds every, you know, every once in a while. Like I uploaded a base build just uh, yesterday, so expect to see another base build maybe next, the beginning of next week. So yeah, I'm just gonna upload base builds at the random times, but I will be switching off from Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. So expect to see content from both of these games. This way, I can satisfy the viewers, the long, the older viewers I have who subscribe to me just for Clash of Clans content, and it'll give my channel a little more variety, especially with the Supercell games. Because if I keep it in the Supercell sector, then I think it's gonna do good and benefit my channel more. Especially since I've seen, I've I've seen like a positive growth when I do upload uh, Clash of Clans as well. Anyways, that's about it for that one. And my second announcement is, if you guys still want to enter a $10 iTunes card giveaway, I just started it recently, just like yesterday, I believe. So if you want to enter that, all you have to do is leave a like on this video and leave a comment. And that's basically the requirements. Obviously, you want you have to be subscribed and, you know, you want to turn on your notifications so you can see my upload, so see whenever I upload a video. This way, you can um, obviously go comment every time I upload, every time I upload you can like the video all that kind of cool stuff share it whatever you want to do anyways let's just get straight into the video i'm going to show you guys a replay of one of the one really flawless raid so i'm going to go down here and this was a three crown to one and it was flawless and what i mean by this the guy didn't was unable to touch my towers a single bit i'm level seven and he's level eight and i ended up getting a three crown on him so let's just take a look so he is using uh the prince and the witch which in this update, or in the past, uh, you know, balance change update, these cards are pretty powerful now. Um, so I'm very excited to see what type of deck he's bringing. So he's coming in with the baby dragon, not a problem, I can lure it out with the archers. I just do that easily, and the archers are able to take that out. And just in time, we were able to take out the skeletons. He drops, uh, what is it, a prince. So I drop a uh, valkyrie, and then I use a zap. And then that valkyrie should be enough to take out the rest of the prince, along with my tower. So now, uh, he's on the elixir disadvantage, I'm not exactly for sure what he's gonna do, but there we go, I drop a miner and I go in with another goblin miner push. He dropped barbarians and unfortunately he drops them to the, to the outer side, this way uh, my goblins are really not, una are really unable to do any damage to his tower. Still, we are still sitting at a flawless, you know, base, uh, he is unable to, you know, get an attack on. And this one was really close, he was about to get it, but his barbarians were trying to attack my bomber. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my royal giant. And he puts a bomb tower just at the right time, so very well played by him. He probably didn't even, he didn't know I had a royal giant at this point in time, but you know, he got really lucky and he put the bomb tower in. Anyways, my royal giant now is going to be shooting on the tower, followed by my witch shooting the other witch. And uh, this should be enough to get the tower down. Uh, let's see. I do zap the tower. And it's only at 2 HP. But my witch is going to have enough health and, you know, attack to take it out. So now we are one crown uh, ahead of him. Obviously, it's 1 to 0 at this point. And he's still untouched my tower. So this is honestly pretty sad. He seems to be a bit walking. I think he's worrying now. But since I left him alone for a little bit, he thinks that he can plant his elixir collector down. And then he puts his uh, barbarians down, which obviously is a terrible idea because he should know by now I have a bomber. And that bomber should take out those barbarians. Plus, he could have used those barbarians on a royal giant. And clearly, he made a huge mistake there. He drops the witch and the baby dragon is also going to get taken out uh, very shortly. And then I'm going to drop the miner and uh, first I'm going to drop the royal giant and then the miner. And there we go. Unfortunately, he fails to drop the bomb tower in time. And basically, the rest of my troops are just taking out the bomb tower. And at this point, you know, he seems to be overwhelmed at this point. Um, you know, he dropped Barbarians, I believe, right now. But it's kind of too late. We already get the second tower down. And now we're going in for the three crown. Because I want to end this as soon as possible. You know, there's no really any time to waste. Uh, so there we go. We're taking out that witch. We're taking out basically everything. And we're just pounding that tower. So I'm waiting for my next royal giant. But it turns out I don't need it. Because the witch's skeletons were just enough along with a few goblins to just take out the tower followed by the witch and the bomber and that's the end of that replay there guys uh that's basically a wrap to this video guys just want to make a short video uh showing you guys 
um, this flawless attack that happened with me. This happens many times, but I just never show it on recordings. But today I decided, you know, I'll make a video about it. Why not show you guys? We're gonna open up free chests here, so let's see what we can get. 63 gold, 1 Inferno Tower Rare, 7 Fire Spirits. Is this an epic or, uh, what is it? Legendary or just another rare? Let's check it out. It's an epic. It's a balloon. Perfect. That's pretty awesome. I actually need way more balloons, as you guys can see. Well, let's just check our shop. Yeah, we don't have anything. I'm just going to end the video now. I don't want to extend it for too long. And I am using a new editor, so tell me uh, how the video turns out to be. If it's still the same quality or is it better quality? Does it look more, you know, stable, smooth? Just tell me that in the comment section below. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. It's a kind of come.